want to get into something and discuss it a little bit. And this is, let's say, this is a point of logic. Mm -hmm. Don't ever be afraid of logic. You know, God, who, for whom nothing is impossible, nothing is illogical because of his authority and power. So let's take Jesus Christ at his word, right? Okay. Which, that's always a good thing to do, isn't it? Uh, yes. In the broad spectrum of life, the majority will always be made up of people who have chosen the way that leads to destruction. And it will only be a minority who have chosen to enter the way that leads, the narrow way that leads to life. Yes. I mean, that's the words of, of the Lord. Yes, that's uh, what he said. So logically, you've got to accept that truth, right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember in John 14, 6, this verse, okay? Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Amen. So this becomes a poor advertisement for democracy. Mm, that's right. Choice is made by the majority. Yes. Now, if you just agreed with me that the word pretty much makes it clear that the majority is always going to go the wrong way, and it'll be a minority that chooses the right way, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And bear in mind what the Lord had spoken way back when, in the book of Exodus, when he said, You shall not follow the masses in doing evil, nor shall you testify in the dispute to turn aside after a multitude in order to pervert justice. Exodus 23, 2. You know, my mommy <clears throat> used to say to me when I was a little children, when I was a little child, she said, well, if your friends went and jumped off the Empire State Building, would you go too? Well, the answer is I probably would have. <laughs> I mean, because I, like most, was a, was a lemming mm. and would follow the crowd over the cliff rather than be different. Now, God has healed me of that when I was born again. But that's simply the truth. It, the, the power of peer pressure is incredible. It is. And peer pressure is pressure indeed, all right? Solomon Ash, a psychologist at Swarthmore College who pioneered in social psychology, conducted experiments way back in the 1950s showing the power of peer pressure. The subjects, part of a larger group who were in on the experiment, were asked to answer a simple question. When following the purposely wrong answers of the participants, the subjects invariably followed their lead and answered contrary to what they knew to be true. In other words, and I, I use the example of one study that I looked at and studied years ago, was they, they bring in, uh, and this is on a college camp, campus, and they're being, doing this experiment, so they had volunteers. They'd bring t 10 volunteers into a room, and they would look at a patch of a wall that was, um, I'm looking at a wall over there that you can't see right now that's bright blue. blue. And they would say, okay, because this is, this is an experiment, we're trying to find out about color perception. So they said to the first person, what color do you see? And he said, that's, that's green. And the second person said, yes, that's green. And right down the line, nine people, it's green, it's green, it's green. And they got to the 10th person, and actually the 10th person was the subject of this study. Right. Everybody else was in on it. Everybody else was in on it. And he looked at that blue wall, and he said, um, and it's green. Now, he knew that it was blue, but he was pressured by those others saying this. And that is the natural condition of fallen human beings. People who are unsaved and unregenerate are lemmings. Yes. Or to put it as the Lord did, speaking through Jeremiah, every man is stupid, devoid of knowledge. Every goldsmith is put to the shame by his idols, for his molten images are deceitful and there is no breath in them. Jeremiah 10, 14. Every man is stupid. Listen, that's the condition of fallen man. Yes. Adam was in that garden, had a perfect mind. Hallelujah. We come into new life, and you know what we have? An imperfect mind, which is why the commandment is, at that point, you've got to be renewed or transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12, verse 2, all right? Now, I want to say something. We're talking about, I, I think I just said something against democracy, huh? Be careful about following the, the crowds, all right? The multitudes, yeah. right? The kingdom of God is a dictatorship. Yes. Pure and simple. Yes. Now, you may not like that because 
You know, in the world, we've been told dictatorships are horrible. Look at, I mean, Stalin, Lenin, Hitler. Well, they were. Well, they were. Okay? Because of the word they had was not the word of God, not the word of love. Not the word right? of love. We have a ben benevolent yeah. dictatorship. Yes. But everything in life, everything in the world, everything throughout eternity in the universe is based on one thing and one thing only, what God says. That's right. You would be in black, pitch black darkness right now had God not said, Open let there be light. Right. What he says is the rule, the rule of law, the rule of life. Put it any way you want. He's a dictator, a benevolent dictator. <laughs>